Crystal of Crystal Sells and Stuff on Instagram and here on YouTube. And today I wanted to share with you my makes for the day and night dress challenge. If you didn't know, this challenge is um, put on by Elizabeth Made This, who has a channel here on YouTube as well as a blog and an Instagram channel as well. And so this is my second year participating in the challenge. And um, this and the previous years you had to make a a dress for a day and a dress for night so this but this year she switched it up and you had to take one dress that you already made and add an accessory or a garment to go with it in order to have a day look so you had to make one thing for your day look and then something for your night look and so this was a really good big challenge for me so I was thinking about doing this pink and white dress and I just could not figure out how to make it look night at all so um i decided to do this dress and this dress is mccall's 7574 and i made this dress in 2017 for the little red dress project and i really hadn't worn it much after that i think i wore it you know around the holidays that year but didn't wear it much after that so i said this would be perfect because part of the challenge was to get you to wear the dress that you made a little bit more. So I decided, let me go ahead and use this dress. So for the day look, um, I just finished this this uh, this top yesterday. I chose um, uh, Simplicity 8655, and that's a Mimi G pattern. And I did the top, which is View A, and I really like how this turned out. It has um, kimono sleeves and a front tie right here. So it's really cute. And um, I, I love it so much. And this fabric is a Joann's fat. This fabric is a Joann's fabric that I picked up from D-Stash Baltimore last summer. I believe last May. And um, I really fell in love with the peacock feathers on it. So this is a really easy top to make, and it's more like a jacket. And um, I made a few changes on it. So one thing I noticed after I cut out the main fabrics was is that the the tie ends aren't um, they weren't faced. So I made up a facing, and this is the first time I ever did it, but it came out pretty well. So I just traced the bottom part of the the tie ends, uh, I traced around the, the, the bottom part of the tie ends of the pattern and I just made it the same shape and I just doubled and then I just stow, sewed it around and turned it inside out and then I, I stitched the top line of the facing down and then I, hand, I slip stitched it all the way around to make a facing on it because when I was looking at the pattern piece I was like it's not gonna look cute if I leave the white part hanging and every time I move you know it'll be red you know maroonish red on this side and then white on the other side I was like that's gonna look kind of tacky so I said well let me figure out how to do this facing I just kind of made it up based on you know other facings that I've done for other things before <laughs> let me put this down so that was uh, what I made for the day for the day look, and here are some pictures right here. Then for the evening look, I chose this Simplicity 1588 pattern. It's an out of print pattern. And I chose it for this shawl look right here, as well as it has um, a scarf look right here. And so I did, I made both of those for my night look. And here is my little scarf. It has these little cute little pleats in the middle. And it's really not a pattern. And I didn't know I ordered this pattern off eBay. Because I was like, I want to do some kind of shawl. And I was just looking and looking and I saw this pattern on eBay and I ordered it. But it wasn't really a pattern piece. It was just um, directions on how to cut out the pattern to make the shawl. So you just needed two yards um, of fabric. And so this is a poly satin.
that I picked up at Joann's and I bought uh, a yard and a half of it. The pattern calls for two yards and um, uh, I believe it was 45 inch fabric. And I said, I can get away with a yard and a half. And then I uh, read the direction. They were like, oh, just lay it out and um, do a, a narrow hem all the way around. But it wouldn't fit for the dimensions that they wanted you to um, to use in the pattern. So what I ended up doing was cutting it in two. And then I did um, French seam, a French seam in the middle to make it one long piece. And so then they had you do these these little pleats and they give really good directions on how you do the pleats. Um, so basically you make one pleat and then you have the next pleat meet it and the next pleat meet, pleat meet it and then you um, hand stitch, slip stitch it together, hand stitch it together and um, and that was it. And then and you did a narrow hem all the way around the rest of it. So this is a really, really easy pattern and you really don't even need a pattern for it. But so it was a really simple make. And then the next thing that I made was the belt. This is a scarf and belt pattern. And this was in the, this was a Charmuse, Charmuse I believe, from Joann's. And it was in the remnant bin. And then I saw these little simplicity tassels over at Joann's to go on the ends. So I decided to add those in as well just to give it a bit more flair and so i really love how it turned out so um and you can wear it they give you all these different ways that you can wear but i ended up wearing it just like a shawl because um it looked the best with my with the dress and so i wore this out i wore this shawl and belt out um, with my husband because we were celebrating our 13th anniversary and so we went to go see the king and i um which is a Broadway across America um, here in Baltimore at the Hippodrome. So we had a good time and I really enjoyed the show. And so this was perfect to make this dress look more fancy. And I wore it with my little, um, with my little white boots. Y'all know I love my little white boots that I got from Target. Anyway, <laughs> so I paired that with the little white boots. And I forgot to say for um, my day look, I paired it with the Oceanside trousers and uh, my little blue booties to go for a day look so um those are my makes for the 2019 day and night dress challenge day and night dress challenge thank you so much for watching i look forward to seeing you next time take care bye